Hey everybody, welcome to Linux Hint YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the top three mistakes new Linux users make. So the number three mistake is that they apply the Windows concept in Linux. Although it would seem too obvious, but it's not. The user, the average window user, they don't even have any idea that any other uh, operating system even exists. Okay, so make your end user aware that they are using a different operating system if you are teaching someone to use another operating system. So mostly the new users, what they do is that they try to apply everything that they have learned from Windows to Linux. So for example, what they think that the Windows you know, file system is same as the Linux file system. But it is not the same case. In Windows, we have the C drive and then there is a structure. In Linux, we have the root user and then there is a certain structure. So there is a difference. Another thing that they try to do is that when they, uh, when they are using Linux, they think that in the same way that they were used to do on Windows while installing different softwares, they could do the same thing on Linux. But it's not the case. In Linux, you have to install different package managers and different other stuff or you have to visit Ubuntu Software Center in order to install new software packages. Also, they assume that in Windows there is an automatic update of the operating system so they, they don't even bother uh, updating Linux so that is not the case. In Linux, you have to update your repository manually and you can do so by writing in the terminal sudo apt update. Alright? Another mistake Windows users make on Linux and that is basically they try to run the .exe files or executable files from Windows to Linux. Now I'm not saying that this is not possible to run exe file on Linux but the idea is that you cannot do it. Alright, until and unless you install Wine, which actually uh, is a software and a library which supports the running of the Windows files on Linux. Another mistake they make is that they try to send the Microsoft Office files in the default format to the LibreOffice uh, in the Linux and assume that it would all work fine. So remember that the Microsoft products are not good at getting along with the operating system, other operating system and other op applications. Make sure your new users uh, are saving the file formats that are readable by Microsoft equivalents, all right? So the second mistake that the Linux users make that they do not master the command line. They try to avoid the command line. So I cannot understand that why people try to do that because I have known people who would work really great with Photoshop. They are really great at Adobe Premiere Pro. They, they can work with all sorts of difficult softwares but when it comes to command line, you know, they give up. They cannot even write a simple touch command to create a file. Why is that? Because they never try to learn command line. They think that everything they can do with the GUI, with click, with Windows, and they are right, absolutely. But new user shouldn't shy away from the command line. Knowing the command line isn't essential, but still it will make you more capable users of Linux. So do not try to mis make this mistake. Avoid making this mistake and try to learn command line when you start working on Linux. So number one mistake most of the Linux users make or the new users make that they choose the wrong distribution. Imagine being a new user and you know selecting Kali Linux, Fedora, Slackware, these are all good distributions, but any of them would send a new user running away in fear. If you are in the initial stages of being a new Linux user, don't run in fear, okay? Do yourself a favor and choose the right distribution carefully. Consider 
your ability, needs and hardware before you make that selection. Don't just jump on board and say you want to because everyone says you should. Because we personally also think that Ubuntu is a uh, is an important distribution where new users could take a start but we also recommend that you should do your own research that what are your needs what you want to learn uh, what hardware you have and what are those things that uh, would work on your operating system what are your requirements and Keeping all that in a mind, give all of them a close examination and then make a choice. So that way you would always choose the right distribution. So do your research and try to choose a right distribution. So these were the top three mistakes new Linux users make. So if we have missed any, try to write that in the comments below and tell us that what are the new mistakes that new Linux users make. What do you think those mistakes are? If you are new to our channel, subscribe to this channel for such new content, a valuable content. Thank you so much for watching.